fam coming at you with another segment of setting up for stationary uh, finally got that name correct since we've been here we've been trying to come up with a catchy name for these type of segments but nevertheless coming at you with another project like I have said before that we're going to be shelling this place and as you can see the shell is finally here so I'm going to be taking this huge pile and putting it in this area as you can see I have a lot of the weed mat already laid out weed mat is basically like this tarp like substance that blocks the grass and or weeds from growing through your shell or rock um, it definitely helps in the longevity wise it's a pain in the butt to put in but I definitely hope for the best as far as keeping the grass out of the area that we're establishing today. I'll go ahead and give you a brief walkthrough since the last time that I've seen you guys and we'll go ahead and jump right into this project. It's pretty cut and dry. I'm taking that pile, spreading it out through here and then I got some pretty rock to put over in the plant area. And uh, yeah, so let's just hop into it guys. All right, there's the massive pile of shell delivered by my buddy Jay I'm from the company I work for, White Cement. I'll go ahead and plug a little advertisement um, right about now. We're back so like I said I'm gonna give you a rundown we use a lot of these uh, paver border for your planters that was around the palm tree that used to be standing here we use them to kind of just run up the side here and we, we like I said this is the weed mat we went ahead and ran up the side here and then just kind of wrapped around here to close it off right there and then this is what we call riprap. It's like basically uh, like a, a melon sized rock. And I went ahead and put together like a little planter area. Um, I know I spoke before and said that we were gonna do mulch here and kind of leave it. But after uh, consulting with my mom and Kim, we just kind of figured it would be a lot prettier if we threw some natural stone with the shell, give it some kind of beach vibe. And um, we're actually gonna throw a different type of rock in that area instead of mulch. So I got my pool float here. That kind of helps get everything level. Got my wheelbarrow. I believe that's about six yards of shell. And um, as you can see, we got the tongue earlier Kim came through and backed the truck up we lifted it up and pulled it forward so we could get under the tires for now so that way we're nice and level so we got the shell under the tires and under the tongue and now the rest is for me to spread amongst this area and so that way we'll have a nice clean finish look Alright, so now I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of me talking and everything, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it.
All right, well that does it for the shell. Finally done. Man, I kicked my butt. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lay down that nice rock that I told you about over in the planter area and um, then just kind of get that spread out and then I'm gonna wash it down a little bit. It's kind of dusty from where I get it from and uh, so I'm just gonna wash it down, give it a nice clean look and then I will set everything up the way we usually like it with our chairs and tables and things like that, pull the slide out, back out, and just hook up electricity and things of that nature. Well, that does it for me, guys. This project is a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I am so satisfied with the turnout. It looks amazing, and it's just gonna make us feel a little bit more comfortable here and stay out of the way. Um, I actually, is perfect timing because it looks like there's a storm coming in, which is perfect because now the rain will wash off all the rocks. It will pack in all the shell. It will just make everything look nice and fresh. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe down below so that you can get notifications when we put out any other videos. And until next time, guys, take care.